What the elf, guys? How do I have this many bags? Hey guys, it's Jess from She's the Posh. Welcome back. And today I am doing my entire handbag collection video. I'm going to be trying to do this as fast as possible, but I'm taking you to the shelf. I also pulled things out of my closet. It's going to take a while. Get yourself a beverage. I make videos every Wednesday, Sunday, and now Friday. So please remember to hit subscribe below and ring my bell so we can become best friends here on the internet. Okay guys, I thought it'd be fun. This is my three year anniversary being on YouTube and I'm so excited that you guys actually like hang out with me. I have no idea what you do, but I love you for it. So I thought it'd be fun to show you my entire handbag collection. So I'm gonna just go as fast as possible through these. I'm not gonna go into deep dive about what the different bags are. I'm gonna try to remember the name. Disclaimer here, I'm showing you some luck stuff. If you don't like it, if you wanna leave a negative comment, you can because it does help my algorithm. But I just thought, you know, this isn't showing off. I just find these videos like really exciting to see like what people like, what do they have in their collection? What have they accumulated over the years? Because your girl is 38 and obviously I've been doing some work and we'll try to get through this as quickly as humanly possible. First bag I wanna show you, this is a vintage bag. So when I first started in my teens slash twenties, I really loved finding vintage bags. And this is a cute one that is still in my collection. It was made in Japan. It's just really cute fun basket bag which i absolutely love and adore kept it in my collection ever since next bag that was in my closet we have this bag it's from the brand heru i believe they are a spanish brand i really like this bag because it was giving me such bottega vibes but for like a lower price point i love the leather the magnet on this bag is absolutely incredible it's the perfect tote bag goes with everything can easily fit it over poofy coats absolutely amazing next we have a luggage piece that i use all the time when i'm traveling so this is my vintage louis vuitton 45 definitely recommend it you can get these for a great price i love putting like my toiletries and other things in here you can attach a strap if you want because it's not a super big bag i don't mind carrying it in the crook of my arm or top handle it is like the perfect carry-on size as well next i have some pollen bags for you so this is the pollen La Sierra, La Sierra. I'm not really sure how you say it, but I really love this bag. It's a shame you can't get any more, but you can probably find it on Poshmark. Super cute basket bag that you can wear. The crook of your arm, I love pollen bags. And this one, super cute. I love wearing it when I go to like showers in the spring and summer, or I go, I went to one casual wedding I wore, and I always get so many compliments on this beautiful piece. Another pollen bag, I still have my collection. So this is, the number seven bag, the set bag, super cute. I really love, this is a textured leather, so it's really nice and hard wearing. I love that I can wear it just on my shoulder as a crossbody bag. Pollens are some of my favorite bags because they're, their designs are so unique and really you can't find them anywhere else. One of my newest pollen bags is the number 11 bag. It's called the Oons. I was calling this the onesie for so long. I really love this bag. You have an adjustable strap, which is really cute. So I made it just like a shoulder bag length, wear it crossbody, which is so, so nice to have those other options. You can put it on the, in your wrist, but I usually just wear a top handle or like this, or as a shoulder bag. Here is my documents. I don't know if you count this as a bag, but I do. This is my documents case that I have. It's vintage for Louis Vuitton. You should put my laptop in it. I have some paperwork and stuff in there now. And then I stick it into my work bag or I just carry it like this, going to the office if I have a smaller handbag. The other bag I'm currently using, this is a My Louis Vuitton Neverfull that I never thought I would get, but I really like this. This is in the leather. I forget what this color is, but it's like their taupe color. Love the inside of it. And I got myself an organizer to fit everything in here. And I love that I can fit my laptop, everything I need. And it does still fit over my poofy coats that I have to wear this time of year. So definitely recommend this beauty. Here is my, the tote bag by Marc Jacobs. And this is my beach bag. I already have it. It has sunscreen stuff in here, <laughs> extra like doggy bags and things like this. These type of bags, if you're looking for a beautiful, cute, adorable bag, just to take to the beach or take somewhere and you don't have to worry about it as much, 
I recommend this beautiful Marc Jacobs tote. Next, we have my Prada backpack. I love using this for work, for travel, basically anything. And this is one of the brand new ones. I got this one for just around $600 on UV's closet. So I definitely recommend on them vintage. There's a few bags that are hard to find vintage, but if you're just looking for a nice, cool backpack that has the vibes of what's happening now, I definitely recommend you going for a vintage Prada backpack. Here is my strawberry bag. This is called the Croissant bag, I believe. I really love strawberry bags because they're super unique, perfect size, and they do have sales, really great sales. So I recommend waiting and getting one of their bags on sale because that's what I did. Next, I have another Pollen bag, and this Pollen bag is mini backpack. You can wear it multiple ways. I have a video on it. I usually just wear this as a backpack. Again, great, unique design, unique to the brand. It's perfect, and I'm all about a lot of the times that hands-free living, now that I have a five-year-old, we're always on the go, I love and appreciate having some hands-free bags that I don't have to worry about, but that are also gorgeous because I don't just want a bag that I don't have to worry about that isn't pretty, I want high quality. So definitely love Pollen for that. Next, I have another basket bag here. This is my Loewe basket bag that I just got this summer. Loewe, if you're looking for a designer basket bag, which I don't necessarily recommend needing to get a designer basket bag, but if you want one that's more on the affordable side, I definitely recommend Loewe. This is absolutely gorgeous, a beach bag. Okay, we have another strawberry bag here. This is the tote bag, and I believe this is called the midi tote, which I think is the perfect size for it. Absolutely love this color, love this leather. I've had this bag for over a year, probably almost two years now. There's hardly any wear to it. I love this opening. I don't have any wear from this rubbing. I was worried about that. I love that it has the strap option as well, totally recommend. Next bag I have is this Loewe puzzle bag, and I definitely love the puzzle bag. I just don't wear this one that often. I think I need to get a different version of the puzzle bag. I think I need to go up a size because what I loved about the puzzle bag was the slouch. This one doesn't have it. I got a, such a great deal on this bag because these bags usually retail to like over $2,000, and I got this bag in like new condition for only right around $1,500 ship and everything. I definitely recommend this bag. I think I just got the wrong size. I think, and I think I would love to get it in like one of the tan versions or black version in a larger size. So I have my Prada reissue bag. This is the one that comes with the cross body strap. I have it stored in here. Really love the versatility of this bag that you can just wear it like this. So this is one of my favorite bags to take traveling just because it has so many uses and so many ways to wear it. So I definitely recommend this bag. Next, I have this Chloe bag right here. This is a Chloe Faye. I used to have two of them. I sold one and I kept this one because this is like the super boho chic vibes. I absolutely love the Chloe Faye. Super cute bag. I do wear it cross body. It is high up, but I'm on the short side. It is a heavier bag and it does get distorted if you stuff it too much, but I never really stuff my bags too much, luckily. And when I think of Chloe, I think of the Faye. Next, I have another vintage bag that ended up getting restored from the leather surgeon. So this is my Saint Laurent YSL clutch. Love it, I love the chevron. And one of the cool facts I know about the Saint Laurent like chevron is it's meant to look like a Y. Isn't that so cute? And then it opens up like this. I love this interior. Like I want a shirt, I want a bag, I want something. This interior is so gorgeous, super cute and chic. I always get so many compliments when I wear it. Okay, this shelf, we have this beautiful multicolor Alma PM, I believe. And this one, I decided to put this beautiful charm right here, super gorgeous. I love this bag. This gives me like such like 2000s vibes. I really love to watch Jessica Simpson and she had like all the collection of the multicolor. So I had to have a bag like that if you can find a good one. If you were a teen in the early 2000s or in your 20s in the early 2000s, like you know what I'm talking about with this nostalgia. One of my favorite bags is on this shelf. So this is my puffer Lulu bag. This is in the medium size, which is the largest size they have. I got this bag when it first came out. So lucky to find it on sale because St. Laurent bags do go on sale and I absolutely love this. Like this is the concrete color. I don't believe they have this particular gray anymore. One of my favorites for sure. On this shelf, I have some smaller bags. So I have my Chanel Sunset by the Sea bag, I believe. And I fell in love with this bag when it first came out. And look how cute this little chain is right here. None of the chains detach, but I just thought, oh my goodness, look at that. That's like a work of art with the blue. And I love the adjustable strap that I can just 
throw on like this. Perfect, fit everything you need in it and super chic. I have a small belt bag. So this is my Saint Laurent belt bag that I got for a really great deal. I got this just under $900. I don't wear it a lot, but I have worn it. And most of the time I've just worn it as a shoulder bag. I've never really worn it as a belt bag. I don't know if it would look cool on me as a belt bag. I really fell in love with how this looks, but I didn't really like it in the puffer style or in the regular Lulu style, but when I saw it in this, I just I just had to have it. It's absolutely gorgeous and cute. Next, I have this cute little mini Speedy. I forget what they call this bag. It's like the HL or something like that. This is a vintage one. I got this. This is actually from Melissa Saldero's collection. She was selling this bag and I bought it from her. So basically it was like fangirl vibes. She's handbag crazy, obsessed lady like me and we're the same age. So I just felt like so drawn to her channel. So I don't care this enough because I don't want anything bad to happen to it. Next on the shelf, we have one of my belt bags and this is my Gucci belt bag. I really love this small size. Ended up getting this for a really great price. I think it was right around $600 or under. Perfect, like when you're going to like an amusement park, you're going to the zoo or something like that. You have all your essentials that you need hands-free. So love this. Another one of my favorite bags is the belt bag right here, the bum bag from Louis Vuitton. I got this several price increases ago. So this one was under $1,700 when I got it. And I still think this is under $2,000. So I think it's a great price point if you can get your hands on it. Super nice. It's easy to get into. I just flip this up when I'm getting my stuff out. I love the zipper on the back, which I put my phone. I usually wear it like crossbody like this. I love that I can just like throw it on my back like this when I'm out doing things, doing errands and stuff like that. So that's my favorite way to wear it. And I love this bag so much that I've also thought about getting it in the leather version in the black. Also on the shelf, I have both of my nieces. So this is my niece, Minnie. I usually use these for travel. And my niece, Nano, I have them stored like that. I have used this as a handbag. You totally can. It's just not something I use all the time. I usually use this for travel to put my makeup in. This one I usually use to put my jewelry and some lipsticks and different odds and ends here when I'm traveling. But you could totally use these as a handbag. I'm so glad I got these like several price increases ago because I don't think I would just get them for travel now. I feel like they're crazy expensive for what I use them for. But I do love that you can store them like this. And I would love to get like a vintage niece that I could put this one in. I don't know. I think that would be perfect. Next, I have this cutie right here. This is my mini sack plaque. Really love this bag. However, I don't wear it as much as I thought of because it is actually a lot smaller than you think it would be. It does fit your essentials in it. And I love that it has strap that is detachable, perfect. I love hanging little things on it. It's super cute, but it doesn't spread out very well. So you can, you have to downsize when you use it and you don't wanna stretch it out, but it is like super cute. However, if you were supposed to choose between this or other nano bag that I have, which is my No Way Nano, I would definitely get this bag before I would get this bag because this bag, you can fit so many more things. It doesn't have a detachable strap, but that doesn't bother me. For me, I'm on the shorter side. I think it's the perfect length for cross body and everything like that. So I definitely would recommend getting this Nano. I believe this one's right around 1300 now or 1400. I haven't really looked at the prices for these in a while. I know it's excess having these bags, but I enjoy them. And even if I'm not using them that often, I have them on my shelf. I do use them at least once a year, so I have no need to sell these yet, but this one I use a lot more. It's so cute. I absolutely love this bag. Last on the shelf is my little cat's clutch, which I really don't use that often. I got this for right around $400. Usually reach here around $1,200. And these are the Charlotte Olympia bags, the little book clutches they have. It's just a very cute, piece. I really love going to like plays and musicals. I used to act whenever I was in college and I did one little semi-professional show when I lived in Pittsburgh. So I just thought when I found something like this, my cats, oh, this is so cute until they came out with a crappy movie. So that like ruined cats for me. They only made 38 of these and I got 38 out of 38. So when I saw that that was the number, it just felt like good luck to me. And it was a super cute bag that I'm hoping the shows are starting to open up now. So I want to go to the shows, but we usually go to Pittsburgh because we live close to here because we're in Erie. And I like to see like three or four of the musicals when they come into town every year. And my vision was to be able to take this to all of those. And I've had it for like two years now <laughs> and I haven't really taken it out to a musical because of course COVID. This is another strawberry bag. This is the Lana bucket bag. This is one of my favorites that they have. 
It has a great like magnetic closure. It actually works a lot better than I thought it was going to. And I love to wear it just like crossbody or as a shoulder bag. You can adjust this to make it shorter, but I never do. I like this size. Definitely recommend this bag and it's on sale now, I think. This is right around 400, 500 price point. And I got this at full price with a 15% discount, I think. So it's a lot cheaper and better price for you if you get it now. And this is the noisiest bag in my collection. So this is my Bottega Veneta cassette bag chain, I think. So this is a super heavy bag. This bag is just about four pounds and it's super noisy, but it's beautiful and it's cute and it's unique and I don't care. It's like one of those things, you know what you're getting when you get this bag. You know it's not practical. There's some bags that are gonna be in your collection that aren't practical. You have to love them and respect them for what they are. So I really love this bag and I was lucky to get this bag under $3,000. I got it secondhand before it like blew up and was like crazy and Bottega Veneta. It was like when it first came out, this bag, super cute. You can't fit a lot of it. It's noisy, it's impractical, but she's pretty. I think I'm describing myself. So this is my Chanel backpack, which is so crazy the price I got for this bag. At the time I thought this was super expensive because I really like, this is called the triple Coco right here. I love this bag, super cute, but I was trying to find a bag that was in really good condition. So I found this one on Fashion Hub before the prices were crazy and I had traded in some bags and this bag was listed for $1,700. And that was before you had tax added to it, before they made you do tax, so $1,700 total. And I had sent some stuff, so this bag didn't cost me that much at all. And now these bags are like listed on the site for like double that, close to like $3,000, over $3,000, which is crazy. I can't believe how crazy the vintage market has gotten. But I love that it had the triple cocoa on the back. I loved that it had the chains and everything. Yes, mine is in some used condition, but I don't feel the need to get it restored or anything yet. Super cute, chic, and I have that hands-free living that I desperately need. Next on the shelf, I have my, I believe this is called the East West Strawberry bag. This is in the mini size, so really tiny. And it's in the mock croc and the burgundy color. Super cute, again, I love Strawberry because they are super unique. It has a snake chain with it. You can wear this bag crossbody on the shoulder and you definitely fit the essentials that you need. It has this crossbar that you just kind of roll up with the magnets, put your things in that you need. Super cute and, and this was a great price. I think this was just a little over $300 because I got it on sale. Next we have my test bag here. So I had gotten this bag because I used to have a Chloe Drew bag before I got this bag. They got rid of it because the chain really hurt my shoulder, but I absolutely love the design. I love the round bag. And when this bag came out, I knew I had to try it because you had leather straps that you can wear as a shoulder bag. And there's also a strap in here that you can wear and attach as a crossbody bag. I love that it had this loop, which I love with my Faye bag and it's magnetic. You open it up and here's my crossbody strap. It fits everything I need and it, it fixed all the negative things that I didn't like about the Drew. Part that bothered me the most was that thin metal strap, which I feel like nobody talked about. It just dug into my shoulder and it was so uncomfortable. I hated it. It really hurt me. Whereas it had nothing to do with the style and how the closure works. So when I saw this bag, I had to have it. And you can get these on great sale now. I think I got this bag for $800 or $900, maybe less than that. And I think it's just beautiful, gorgeous, like perfect bag. And again, boho chic for days. Here's another Chloe bag that I have. This is a Chloe Nile bag. And I ended up getting this for a great deal. This is, it's a yellow color. I forget what the yellow is called, but this is the, I believe the medium size. It's not the mini size that everybody was crazy for that everybody got rid of. It, everybody's selling their Nile bags. And I think it's because they were just unpractical. They weren't something, they look cute, but they're not practical. Like every time I saw videos, like you can't fit anything in it. And like, what's the point of having a bag if you can't fit anything in it? Well, this one you can fit. You can fit whatever you need in here. It does have a crossbody strap that is leather. And I like just carrying it like this in the crook of my arm. I think it's super cute. It's not too heavy. We just have two more bags on this shelf. So this is my Tega Veneta. I believe they call this, if it's called the pouch bag. Some people call it the dumpling bag. I got this bag back in the day when Jamba Shop, like nobody knew about Jamba Shop. The prices were crazy low. I got this bag for $1,500. So I had to jump on it. I love it. Super easy just to carry like this. I've actually used this as an everyday bag, as an experiment to see if it was actually comfortable. And because there is a borrowed way around it, like it's so comfortable to hold one handed. And my favorite part about the bag is this sound. There's something about that sound. And there's no bells and whistles in here. It's just an open pit. It does have a D-ring at the bottom. You can attach something. I never do. 
but super cute, chic, fun bag, but I definitely wouldn't buy it at the price point it is. I got it for $1,500 new, so that's why I bought it. I would definitely not spend, I think it's like over $2,000 now for this bag. It just doesn't seem like a good investment for how often you would wear something like this, but you could definitely wear it as an everyday bag if you're thinking about it. And last on this shelf, I have my Givenchy bag. This is the Antigona tote. This is the softer version. I got this one for a great price I found on sale. I believe I got this for right around 1200 or 1300. I found it on an Italius on sale. This is the gray. I store mine with it unclipped, but when I wear it, I like it clipped. I like that scrunch tote look. Basically, my video talks about this tote. It fixed all the things that I didn't like about the Antigoda bag. Like I had the Antigoda bag, I loved it, but I didn't at the same time. There were some things, features of the bag that I didn't like, and it feels like when they made this soft tote, they corrected all of those. And so I definitely recommend this gorgeous bag. Now we're on to the fourth shelf, which I think you can see a little bit better. So we'll start on this side. So I have this toy Lulu and this is in the cinnamon suede. And when this first came out last year, I absolutely fell in love with this suede. It's super cute, gorgeous bag. And when I found it in the toy size, I figured this is the perfect size for me because I already have it in the small and this is in the velvet. And something around Saint Laurent bags, I have so many Saint Laurent bags and there's some of my favorite pieces. First of all, they go on sale. You can get them on sale new. Quality is impeccable and even down to their velvets. Like their velvets, like I've had this bag over two years now and I'm not getting anything. Like with Gucci, when your bags would store with the Gucci one, you would get marks on the Gucci velvet that I noticed when I saw other people's videos. And I don't have that with this bag. And if I do get a mark or something, like I just massage it. Like when I first got it, they had the tag on it and the tag had rusted and there was a line in the velvet. And I was like, oh no, that's gonna be a mark. I just massaged it and it went completely away. Like this velvet is so luxurious. And then you have this nice leather. One is the small size. I used to have another size, but because I got some other Lulu bags, I wasn't using it as much. So I went ahead and sold that. Super classic styles that I don't ever see going out of style. Also on the shelf, I have my her bag, super cute bag. Some people say it's the Country Kelly, the Poor Man's Kelly. I have a video comparing it to my Kelly and I just think the her bag should not be put in that category. It is its own bag, it's its own unique bag and you can find these on the vintage market for amazing price. So I definitely recommend that you guys try and get this bag if you love it. Don't get it because you want the Kelly. That's not the reason to get the her bag. You get the her bag for her and not for what you think she's trying to be, if that makes sense. Next we have another Strathberry bag that I just got if you saw from my haul. This bag is still a little stiff. That was the only thing I mentioned about this bag, but this is the tote bag, but this is in the nano size. I had showed you the midi tote earlier. Super cute, again, this was on sale. Super cute, fits the essentials. And I loved the color of this green. I think this is gonna be great for Christmas, but it's so cute and so chic. Here is my Chloe Drew that I ended up getting. I found this one on Poshmark. This is the version that came out a few years ago. I think it's called the Bonjou, Bonjoui bag. So this is the one that has removable straps, but it has this metal strap, which I really love. And it's super in right now having the two straps. And then it also has on the inside a leather strap that you can attach, which I store on the inside. You can fit everything you need in here. It is a smaller bag, so you downsize if you have big pouches. But people would complain about the closure with this and how the string, like this would cause damage to the bag. So this is how you prevent that from happening. So if you liked the look and you're worried about getting the bag, how I close my bag is I just have the thing up like this and then I put the lock in there. You don't have to turn it this way. People would say they turn because this would fall off. You don't need to turn it to close the bag. It won't open if you have the lock in here. So if you have this in here, this is not gonna rub against your leather. So definitely recommend this cute bag. And behind this, I have my Diorama bag. This is in like this pink purple color, super cute bag. This Dior bag, again, you can't fit a lot in here because a lot of the bags, I used to have them on the same bag, which I have sold, but this goes up like this and you really can't fit a ton in this bag. This is a smaller bag than you would think, but I love that there's like leather on the strap, but you can wear this bag on your shoulder, crossbody. it has a nice magnet. It's just super cool. Like this color, everything about this bag is super cool. It's got unique vibes and it was kind of giving me the Chanel boy vibe. So I might have to add a Chanel boy bag to my collection. But these styles that are more boxy, they're really smaller than you think they are. 
Next, we have some Chanel bags. So this is my vintage Chanel classic flap that I got, gosh, three years ago. One of the first videos I did was getting this restored. So I definitely recommend if you want a classic bag, try to find yourself a vintage Chanel bag that needs some work because I got this fixed up from the leather surgeons. I was completely flat. You're able to get everything fixed. So if you're like, oh, it's completely flat or oh, the chain's broken, all that stuff, don't worry. The leather surgeons can fix everything. This is a double flap that I got. I like to store it with its stuff so then it doesn't get flat like it got before. And it looks almost brand new. Like you wouldn't know that this bag necessarily was over 20 years old just by glancing at it. I don't think you would notice that. You might notice that the lambskin is not as poofy as it once was, but I don't think you can notice the age of it. So I definitely recommend vintage. Next, I have this cute, this is the small size Chanel double flap, and this is in the tweed. And this is not the tweed with the ribbon. This is the tweed that has the sparkles in it. Saw this bag, I got this bag, you're gonna hate me for under $3,000. I got it not even two years ago. Pandemic times. So right when the pandemic was happening, so there was this moment that prices were just dropping on Chanel secondhand classic bags. There was this moment in the market where like everything was dropping and you would think it would go up because Chanel stores were closed, but I guess people were just scared they were gonna hold on to their inventory. So they sold them for really great prices. I'm afraid I'm gonna get it dirty. Like that's one of the things I said bags I don't wear enough, but I'm definitely gonna bring it out more. I need to get over that. You're not gonna even tell that it's worn because of the style of it being the tweed, like it comes up anyway. So I just need to get over that fact and just wear it more. Next on this shelf, I have my small Lulu bag that I originally bought to resell because I got it for a great price. This again was like a year and a half ago, two years ago that I got it from a Jamba shop. They were having a big sale. I got this for $1,200 new. And I was supposed to get, sometimes this happens with drama shop and like discount sites. I was supposed to get it in this silver and white. Didn't care for that combination. I really love like the gold colors. So I was gonna resell it and make a couple hundred dollars profit on it. And then this bag came and it was gold and cream and not white and silver. It was a different type of bag. For some reason it got messed up. And I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. <laughs> I saw it and I was like, oh no, I need to keep that and I did. And I, and I, for $1,200, I thought, oh, it's beautiful. And I have a whole review comparing the different sizes. Like I know people think this is a trend bag that isn't gonna last for very long, but I plan to be rocking this forever. Okay guys, you still with me? We only have two more shelves left. So we're gonna start with Prince SB. This is my Hermes 30 that I just got recently a couple months ago. Got this from Luxury Consignment Miami, love her. I didn't think I would be a Birkin girl. I thought they were silly. I thought they were old lady. But for some reason, I'm now an old lady and I think they're super cute. I have this in the toga leather, one of my favorite leathers. Like I'm not afraid to wear it. And then I know I'll the leather surgeons when it gets worn, like if you're gonna buy an expensive bag, any of these bags, and you shouldn't be afraid to wear them. You should just wear them and enjoy them. I don't find them too heavy. Again, I don't stuff my Birkins crazy, but love the size of the 30. Next on this shelf, I have my Kelly bag. This is a vintage Kelly that I was able to get for a really great price. Rebag has amazing sales. They have their 20% off sale that just happened. They have a couple, but the biggest sale is the Black Friday sale. So this is what I got last year in the Black Friday sale. And this is in, it's called the Gavier leather. So it's similar to the Swift leather now. They don't have this anymore, but super cute, gorgeous vintage bag. And yes, this has some vintage things to it. So it's a little bit of a slouchy bag, like it kind of dents a little bit, but I put organizer in there that really helps with that. For me, I find this bag more fancy than I do my Birkin. So I find myself wearing my Birkins more than I wear my Kelly's because this I see as a fancy bag. Like I will take this out to a really nice dinner. I would take this out to a really nice place. My Birkin I would take to the grocery store, going out shopping or going somewhere casual. I would take my Birkin to Target before I would take my Kelly to Target, if that makes sense. Another cute vintage beauty for you. So this is my mini Chanel Diana bag. This is a bag I don't wear that often. I did get it restored. It is kind of vintage where it has like a lot of wrinkles in the lambskin. I took it to Leather Surgeons just to get it fixed up. I got it conditioned. I got a little bit of color corrector, but I still, it has a lot of wrinkles to it, but it's so gorgeous and I would never be able to find this bag again. I really like the Diana flap. I love how gorgeous it looks. And this is a mini rectangular flap size basically. And I love this chain. I fell in love with how gorgeous and beautiful that looks. So it is a bag I don't wear that often and I have thought of selling and the only reason I haven't is because it's gonna be so hard to find again. And even though I don't wear it that much, I do still love it. 
So that's why I've kept it and it's still on my shelf. I mean, even though it has wrinkles and stuff, I don't think I'm gonna, at least I know that I could take it to the leather surgeons if it needed it. So yeah, so cute, right? Like beautiful, vintage Chanel, like seriously guys. Next, we have this really cute Chanel bag. This is the denim Chanel. It's kind of a crazy bag, but I absolutely love it. I got such a great deal on this because this bag was hard to get. This came out in 2019, I believe, or 2020. Maybe this is 2020 spring collection, I think. When I saw this bag, absolutely loved it. It was so hard to get. So then when you saw it on the resale sites, they were over retail. Well, I was lucky to find someone that was another, she's a blogger or a YouTuber. I think she's just a blogger, but she was end up selling hers. So I was able to buy it from her for really great price. I think I bought this for $3,600 and they were retailing at the time for $3,400. So 36 shipped, it felt like it was the same price because of course, if it's 3,400, you're gonna have to pay tax and different things on that. So I was so excited that I got this. I will wrap this bag around and make it like a short shoulder bag. It is a longer strap bag, but it's just so cute. I just love it. It's just makes me smile every time I bring it out. It's like an edgy Chanel and I think it's so cute. And I absolutely love this. Like this is my inners cause I'm a 90s. Kid. I was born in the 80s, but I was a kid in the 90s, and this gives me like all those vibes, all those vibes. In the back, I have my utility pouch from Louis Vuitton, and I call this bag, I do like this bag, but it was extortionally priced. This bag is the same price as the leather version of this bag. This bag was $3,000 almost. It was like 2,906, I think it's over 3,000 now. But extortion for this cute little bag. That being said, I loved it. I thought it was so cute. It's such a unique bag. You have a strap here that has the pouch. I loved the inside. It's just super cute, chic, fun to wear. You have these little utility pouches in here. Only negative is it's a little top heavy, the bag. So it, when, it, when you set it down on a table, it kind of like leans forward and kind of sets on these pouches here super cute fun chic bag but the price was extortion next we have my newest bag this is a bag that i got when i sold my dior montaigne bag i actually sold that back to fashion file because they do the buyback so i had you have so much time to do a buyback and you get 70 percent of your money back so that bag wasn't working for me again because it just didn't fit as much as i thought i would i got this bag and i'm so glad i did this this is an absolutely gorgeous bag this is the mini bag I think these retail for $2,700. I love the fact that you have this neon yellow here, and but you can take that off and it becomes a more classic bag. I am paranoid when I put the strap on, I have it on my shoulder, that these, what if one of these falls off and I lose it while I'm just having it like on my shoulder or crossbody? I mean, I think I would notice it falling off, but that is the only thing that I'm super paranoid about. So the times I've taken it out, I've been wearing it just like top handle because I'm just paranoid of these falling off. Next, we have a Fendi baguette. I used to have a bunch of vintage Fendi baguettes, but I ended up selling them all because I got so much money for them. I bought this vintage baguettes, like, gosh, like two to three years ago, and I caught them for $200, $300, $400, and I ended up selling all of them because I made hundreds off of all of them, and now I have the newest version. So this one just came out this spring. This is the, I believe the medium size. I had the mini size cause I got a great deal on Java shop, but I ended up selling that. And I do love this bag. It has a nice strap inside. You can fit more than you think in the baguette. It's just perfect bag, super chic. Comes with another strap, but again, it's just a shoulder bag strap. Cute, you can wear it cross, but it's just gonna sit really high. And I just love the detail and the embossing on this, it's just such a gorgeous chic bag. Yes, there is like a little openings right here, so things could come out. I put all my stuff in pouches, so I never have that problem, but just something to note. Last on the shelf, we have my Palm Springs EM backpack in the reverse. Really love this backpack. I don't think I would love it as much if it didn't have this reverse. Mine is the older version that people have the tendency to have the problem with the rubbing. I don't really have the problem with the rubbing with the zipper, because I just make sure that when I'm using my bag, I kind of push it in when I zip it and when I open it, I kind of just like press it in like that. Cause the reason it has this flap is so when you're wearing it on your back, people can't steal your stuff without you knowing, right? To be able to open it, you have to kind of push it in. So it's like a safety measure. And the new ones don't have that, but people hated that because they were rubbing it. And I think it's just because you weren't using it properly. Super comfortable. I thought that these might be too poofy for me because I'm more on the petite side. No, fits. Gorgeous, perfectly, it's well durable bag. I've taken this bag hiking, like literally I've taken it hiking and in the woods and it can fit everything you need, water bottle, different things, snacks for your kid. 
I can fit my cell phone in here, but you kind of have to put it on in the side and it'll fit in this little pouch. That's pretty much all I put in here or I'll put my wallet or something in there I want quick access to. And again, it has a little pouch over here with the zipper so that if someone's trying to get in your bag, you're gonna feel it because you kind of have to push it in or lift the flap up. So if you were thinking about getting this bag, you can get a better price on these older versions. Just double check, make sure there's no marks to it. But don't be afraid to get the older version because you think it's gonna have that defect. I don't really feel like that was a defect. I really feel like people were like just forcing the zipper and they were rubbing it against this because they were doing it too hard. You just push it in guys and hit the zipper and you're fine. Guys, we made it to the last shelf. Are we still here? Are we still here? Okay. So here's my top shelf here. I only have, I believe, four bags on this shelf. So we're near the end. This is my original Birkin that I got. This is the Birkin 35. I wanna film you guys a comparison between the 30 and the 35. But what I liked about this 35 is it is an amazing price point. I was able to get this in a color that I absolutely love. This is called the gold color. And it's a Togo leather classic Birkin color that I would wear all the time. This one is vintage. I got this one for right around $7,000, I believe, which is a great price to get for it. Rebag sale. Love the, the veining that you have in here. I like to have it closed. You have that classic look to it. And then I use it like a open tote. Also up here, we have my Dior book tote. This is in the larger size. This is the bag that I did a review on. I got this bag for under $2,500. I got it for around $2,400 in like new condition and gently used condition. I don't use this often, only when I travel. And again, we've had COVID time, so I'm not really traveling that often. I might go to a family member's house and stuff. So it's perfect for that. It didn't work for me with work. It does fit on your shoulder, but it doesn't work if you have like a coat or a poofy coat. So like half the year, I can't wear this. So that was kind of discouraging, but it's a gorgeous bag. Like this is all embroidered, it's beautiful. It's durable. I haven't had problems with dirt or wear or anything. It's a well-made bag, but I wouldn't pay over $3,000 for it. That saying, like I thought about getting it in the smaller size if I could find a good price, but again, I'm not paying $3,000 for a small book tote version of this. I'm not gonna get rid of this bag because I do enjoy it for what it is. It would not be in my collection if I had to pay over $2,400 for it. Next, we have our Chanel 19 which i absolutely love i love this bag you don't under, like if you don't understand the obsession until you get the bag i don't know it's just such a cool chic bag this is a calfskin and it's in a shiny leather so the leather is great it's durable so this being a calfskin i was nervous about the shiny that it would look more like patent leather i do not care for patent leather that doesn't scream luxury to me just not something i enjoy but i love this bag i love that you have the handle here my favorite thing is this back pocket i love the strap with this it's super comfortable i love i love the mixed metals such cool bag if it's everything you need mine is the medium size i would love to get this in the small size however i'm not gonna pay close to six thousand dollars for this bag this bag here i got for forty seven hundred dollars i believe which was just right around retail at the time. Again, I bought this from someone's personal collection and new in store, I think it's close to $6,000 now because this is considered a classic piece. And I would love to get the size small. I just don't wanna pay that crazy amount for the bag. So maybe if I can find a good deal for it, I would definitely add the small to my collection. But just at the price point it is, I just can't justify that price. But I really enjoy this bag. So if you can find a deal on it, you can find someone selling from their own personal collection, definitely get it. And the last bags I'm gonna share are my absolute favorite bag. And this is my Noe GM. This one I got for like $460. It's vintage, it's from 1989. And then I have this bag here that I just got this year. This one I got for around $800. This is the GM, but this is in the Demi Azure print, which I always wanted to get a bag like that. So when I saw a good price for my favorite bag, I decided to get it. You can kind of see like the difference between the new and old. This does have some watermarks and things on it. You can see the difference in the height of the leather. This bag here does not have a D-ring or anything. It's a vintage bag because this bag was meant to carry champagne, which I absolutely love. Love the history of that. So you have to see my videos on these. But I love these bags because if you're looking for like your first Louis Vuitton bag, you don't want to spend tons of money. Like even the Speedies are, are expensive vintage. These bags are not crazy expensive vintage for some reason. 
and you can still get them, I think 600, 700, 800 dollars. I got this probably four years ago for right around 460 because it was in really great condition. You can adjust these straps. Some people like to wear theirs like crossbody to be a little bit longer. And I have totally thrown this on like crossbody, like having a tote, but not at the same time. And you can seal it. I do like a slip knot. I learned slip knot from LV Coffee Lover. Tiffany taught me that. And that's actually how I started following her because I was like learning about how to close it in a simple way when I found her and now her and I are friends. Hey girl. So yeah, absolutely recommend getting the Noe bag. It's a perfect vintage bag. You won't regret it. Not at all, especially if you get it for under 500 bucks. Okay guys, that is everything. Thank you for sticking around this long video. If you made it this far, maybe do like a blue heart, letting me know that you made it to the end of the video. That would be fun to see like how many people actually listen to me talk because I'm super parched. I mean, I need to take a break, but I hope you enjoyed seeing my entire handbag collection. And as always, I wanna thank you so much for watching and hope to see you again. Bye guys.